Hello everyone, my name is Trevor Ursulescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Today I will review Lindbergh's 1934B Roadster, kit number 72150. This model is a skill level 2 kit. This means that you will need paint and glue to put it together. Henry Ford was known as a tinkerer and was famous for his innovations. In 1932, he created an affordable V8 engine for his inexpensive automobiles. The flathead V8 proved quite powerful and remained in production until 1953. The Ford Model B was an update of the 1928 Ford Model A series, the second time that Ford used the Model B moniker since 1904. The new Model B name lasted from 1932 to 1934 when Ford finally stopped using the letter designations for his automobiles. The most popular body style of the 1932 Ford is the Victoria, shown here as a hot rod built by Mattel's Hot Wheels. Looking at the box, the two called out features of this kit are the detailed chassis and detailed tires. This is rather unusual because the kit contains many other items that would make a great selling feature like the wood grain dashboard, full frame with independent front suspension and your choice of folded up or down top. All pieces total 32 parts. How fitting! There are two things of note that are unusual about the car pictured on the box. First off, on a real 1932 Ford the grille housing is painted body color and the stone guard shield frame is chrome. Secondly, the wire wheels should be painted and the hubcap chromed. The back of the box includes a features translation of the model in Japanese, French, German, Spanish, Italian and Dutch. A similar list also appears on the instructions. These are all the parts of the model. Unfortunately, there are no chrome-plated parts, but you could always paint those pieces silver or use a chrome product like L-clad or bare metal foil. The beautifully illustrated instructions are easy to follow because they show exploded parts views of the assembly steps with well-written directions. It also includes the Ford official licensing logo. There are a few things in this kit that will provide a challenge to builders. This is not intentional on Lindbergh's behalf, but is reflective of the kit's history. Originally, this kit was produced by Palmer in 1960. Throughout the years, it has been re-released in many forms and by many manufacturers, including Pyro and Lindbergh. I especially like the Happy Days version. A. With this in mind, the kit has the least amount of mold marks and flash, in the entire Lindbergh 132 automobile series. You can easily remove the flash and mold marks with your hobby knife and sandpaper. The model has a few areas where the sprue tree touches apart with a thick peg. In order to remove these parts from the sprue without destroying the model, you will have to cut the sprue away from the piece and then file or carve the sprue away from the part. Finally, there is a small challenge to attaching the body to the frame. Initially, the body doesn't want to sit down on the frame rails without leaving a huge gap. To remedy this, I found that you simply need to push the body down by applying equal pressure on either side of the top of the rumble seat and try to spread the lower body sides outward. Once you accomplish this, the body will click into place on the frame rails. Despite these minor engineering hiccups, this kit does include some excellent detailed parts. Have a look at this front axle radiator combination. Unless you want a gloss black car, you will have to paint your radiator shroud body color. If you collect 132 scale models, want a quick build car for a 1930s diorama, or are looking for a good first time kit to construct out of the box or convert into a slot car, then I recommend this kit to you. Happy model building for Monster Hobbies!